Once upon a time, there were two farmers, one called Hassan and the other called Hassanin. Hassan and Hassanin were living at a faraway place. During summer, this place's weather was fair and suitable for farming. During winter, it rained heavily, and this could drown all crops. Hassan didn't know how to grow anything but tomatoes. He waited for the sunny summer season and grew his tomatoes. At the end of the season, he collected the harvest and sold it. He lived off the money he gained of it for the rest of the year, which was barely enough to get him through the following year. He eagerly awaited the year to end to farm again the following year. Hassanin, on the other hand, also grew tomatoes during the sunny season, sold them, and gained their profits. During the rainy season, he also farmed, but he grew water-intensive crops, such as rice. He also sold them at the end of the season and made money, and the livelihood was more than enough. Did you see the difference between the one farming in one season and the one farming in all seasons? This is like the difference between the one worshipping Allah in times of prosperity only and the one worshipping Allah in times of prosperity and times of hardship. Ponder this hadith. How wonderful is the case of a believer. There is good for him in everything and this applies only to a believer. If he prospers, he expresses gratitude to Allah and that is good for him. And if adversity befalls him, he endures it patiently and that is better for him. This means that with every blessing that befalls him, he expresses gratitude and Allah rewards him greatly for his gratitude. And with each affliction or adversity, he endures the adversity and Allah also rewards him greatly. And sometimes, even greater than the reward for gratitude, he is rewarded even for the pricking of a thorn, let alone bigger things such as sickness, poverty, worries, depression, and otherwise. Someone is going to ask, how do we endure? What is the way? It is said that when adversity falls, people are divided into four levels. The first level is dissatisfaction. This is like your friend who, when adversity befalls him, says, crying, what have I done to deserve this, God? Or like your friend who, when you talk to her about enduring, she says, what can I do but we endure as we are, and at the same time spends hours complaining to you about her worries. Dissatisfaction is when the heart objects to affliction and is angry at Allah, even if the person says otherwise. This is, of course, disrespectful to Allah and deprives the person of any reward. On the contrary, this greatly increases his sins. The second level is endurance. It is when you feel the bitterness of affliction, but you hold it inside, and you have the faith that prevents you from acting like the guy above. The third level is what is this? Haven't we achieved endurance already? No, there are still two higher levels. The third level is satisfaction. I feel the pain of affliction, but it does not make a difference to me because I know that life has its ups and downs, a good day and a bad day. Since everything is from Allah, I'm satisfied. The fourth level, and the one who achieves it is fortunate, is the level of gratitude. It is when a person not only endures the pain of adversity, but also expresses gratitude to Allah because his adversity is easier than other afflictions, and because it will expiate his sins before the day of judgment. And this is rewarded greatly by Allah. Remember the last affliction that befell you? Which one of these four levels were you at? And think about how you can reach the next level.